if you listeners want to try it, just uh, you can do you can do it. You can stand up, and here uh, I would recommend to spread your feet wider than your hips, and you can try to do this big circle from right to left, starting on the right side pushing your hips really nicely forward and you will feel that your back is going back. Uh, it's not a back bend because you're not bending the back. You're just still kind of staying in line. And important thing is uh, when you try to do this movement, try not to go with the back circle. Don't try to finish it in the same manner. So when you transfer the weight from right center to left in front, then you can just like cut it, cut it back from left to right without finishing the circle too much. So standing on the, on the both feet, you just really have to transfer the weight completely forward or front. And you can, you must let your body to go back slightly. So not to go with the hips, but really lean, lean back and have bent knees. And if you bend your knees even more and spread your feet even more, you can go deeper and deeper with this movement. And that's what Tahia, that's what she is doing. There is one more thing she's doing and that completely changes that element. And that's the usage of her arms. So you can notice that she has her arms above her head. And once she goes to the circle, she lowers the hands to her forehead and she slightly twists or tilts the, the arms towards the direction where she is going. And it gives this beautiful dance posture. So it's a combination of a front half circle and usage of the arm and really going, leaning into the, into the movement. And also the head is going to the side where, um, yeah, where you, where you go with the, with the movement. So for example, if you start on your, uh, right leg and you go to the left, you knee, you, you lean the body to the left and also your look should be left uh, diagonal down.